So step one, um, well, step one, I've added the CPU and I've gone ahead and stuck the RAM in. But step two will be to update the cooler. So I'm going to push through the middle section of these little retention clips here. Just do it with your fingernail. Once that's done, you can see here that they are sticking up a little bit. Just grab again with your fingernail um, or some sort of plastic tool. Pull them up and then these come straight out. And then here is the, the retention clip uh, for the cooler. So we've got the retention bracket here. I will uh, set this in here and then uh, set it down so I can kind of hold itself in place. Then take this first standoff and screw. So the retention clips fit in like that. Um, the cooler, having come from the other build, I know will clear the RAM here. So I'm just going to Add put a little a bit of thermal paste. So we have the motherboard and cooler all set up. Nice little cubic um, form factor here, and we will start putting parts in the case. So the first step here is to take off the two side panels. So I'm going to remove the four thumb screws. So it says to um, slide the PSU in, then put this bracket back on, screw the bracket in, and then screw the, it says to screw this bracket on, then screw the uh, PSU into the bracket. But I'm actually gonna do that backwards because I wanna be able to pull the power supply out so that I can, um, more easily attached cables because it's kind of running up here against the the drive cage in the front. So you can see here that uh, the power supply is running really close to the drive cage and I don't have any three and a half inch drives um, so I am going to remove the drive cage to give myself more room for uh, cabling. So here I have removed the entire drive cage. So now you can see that I've got uh, plenty of room here uh, to get my hands in and plug in the cables. I've moved all the components over from the Silverstone case. Again, my AMD Kaveri APU based machine over to this uh, Corsair 380T. Uh, again, to get into the system, you just open these two side doors hatches. You can easily get access to all the components in the case. Moving everything over was pretty easy. It's actually um, a bit easier to work in this case than I would say a normal case because you can take your hands and come in from both sides. So seating a motherboard or uh, pushing cables down, you can get hands in on both sides versus a traditional case where oftentimes you're just coming in from the top 
and having to seat things in um, by your fingertips. So having the open sides on the case is actually a really big benefit. Everything went in easy. Um, this large passive heat sink uh, made it a little tricky to get everything in. The one complaint I really have at this point is the cabling. Um, if we take, say, this USB 3 header here that comes with the case, this cable is huge. I mean, it extends past the end of the case by probably eight inches or so. I mean, there's really no reason that you need this much cabling here. Uh, the same thing here on the HD audio cable, though it's not quite as bad. Um, and then here's some cabling for the fan controller button here up front. Mix that with the cabling for the power supply. Here's the cable for the 4 plus 4 CPU power, and you can see how much extra we've got here. Um, having the ITX base case, you really need short cabling, um, and that's really the only uh, big stumbling block I came across. I've searched out uh, for some short cabling from Corsair for the RM650, and they don't make any. They don't make any short cabling for any of their power supplies. Um, I started looking around for other alternatives. I found a short cable kit from Silverstone and was gonna pick that up on Amazon. It was you know, relatively uh, low priced. I think it was 30 or $40 or so. <clears throat> and in reading the comments, uh, people had bought it and specifically tried to use it with this RM650, um, some other Corsair PSUs and some other manufacturers and it does not work. The 24 pin um, major power supply connector does not work. There is something proprietary that Silverstone has done with either the cabling or their PSU where their cabling kit only goes with their PSU. And really that's just crappy. Um, PCs are built on open standards and if you buy a cable kit, it should be able to be used. Uh, so to get around this and to get around all of this extra cabling um, on the PSU side, I went and dropped some money at uh, moddiy.com, I think it is, for some appropriate length cables. Um, one other point to note in researching the short cable kit for the Corsair um, PSU, one comment that people were making six months ago, a year ago or so, in Amazon comments or Newegg comments or different things, was that since Corsair didn't make, I guess at the time, any mini ITX cases, they only made um, you know, desktop size, maybe mini desktop full tower cases for uh, micro ATX or ATX motherboards, and they really didn't have a need or responsibility to provide a short cabling kit to go between their power supply and their line of cases that they offered. And I can see that point. But for some time now, um, Corsair has been offering some micro ITX cases, the 380T uh, series, there's three different color configurations being one of them. So uh, personally, I think it's high time that Corsair offers some short cable kits for their PSUs for their customers who want to buy a mini ITX kit. They have some premium cable kits and some replacement cable kits for their PSUs that are all full length. Um, and I think they would get some sales if they offered some shorter versions. So that being said, and again, it's a, it's a lot to say because the cables are really the biggest uh, pain in the backside on this. Um, in testing, the CPU runs uh, quite hot. I'd forgotten how hot it ran with passive. The, the cooler itself is cool to the touch up here at the top, but the CPU runs uh, really a sizzling 60 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to put in some active cooling on this and see what we can do to bring um, the temps down. I got the, the new Kaveri bin from AMD and I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in now. And I also got some of Corsair's Quiet Fan Series. Um, I'm gonna replace the one single fan up here with two of their Quiet Airflow fans. Um, do a little bit of testing for uh, decibel levels, levels and see how that goes. But all in all, it went really well. The installation was quite easy. It really is an easy case to work in. Um, again, you can see here, here's the extra cabling on the 24 pin uh, power connector. 
And really to put all of this cabling in here, um, I had to remove the three and a half inch drive cage. If that drive cage was still in here, um, I wouldn't be able to um, have all this cabling snaked or kind of bundled in here. So I like the power supply and I like the case. Um, I just really don't like them together because of the lack of a short cable kit. Um, it'll be extra money you'll have to spend to, to accommodate that. And if you're going to use the three and a half inch hard drive tray uh, or cage with this case, uh, no matter who your power supply maker is, you're gonna need to get one with short cables or get a short cable kit for it. Um, really easy and clean looking here on the back. Uh, one step that Corsair has here on installing the, the power supply I found kind of backwards. Um, they have you slide the power supply in and then put this frame on, screw the frame in and then screw um, through here through this retaining frame into the power supply. Um, every time I tried to do that, because it's, it can be difficult to get the screws to line up, I was pushing the power supply in every time I tried to screw in here. So from an ease of installation, I think those steps should be reversed. Um, it's much easier to screw this frame onto the power supply, slide the whole thing in, and then do the thumb screws. But outside of that, from their installation instructions, they were clear, they were easy to follow, and um, so far, I think it's a really good case, and it's also much lighter uh, than the steel case, the full or steel slash aluminum case, metal case uh, that I had before. So I'm going to now update the rig with um, some active cooling here on the uh, CPU or the, the APU, sorry. I'm going to upgrade the APU, update the fans, um, and then also get the short cable kit in here, do a little decibel testing, um, to see what happens as I replace existing fans with cool, with hopefully quieter fans and then add in the noise of the active cooler here on the APU. Uh, thanks for watching and we will see you next in part three.